Hi there, I hope you're doing really well. My name is Kay Sam. Thank you so much for clicking this video. Now, in today's video, I just wanted to give a quick update on how you can set hot cues automatically in Virtual DJ. If you've never heard about it before, I've made about two videos back with something called Custom X, which is a set of pads that I wrote to help you set these hot cues. Now, I'm going to try to keep this video as short as possible, and maybe I might sound real quick, but I really hope you get what I'm saying right here. So I'm going to start by a quick disclaimer here. This is not any smart intelligence thing, so it cannot analyze your waveform or the energy of the song and then set a hot cue. No, it is not. It is just based on the VDJ script that is native in the software. So it is going to set hot cues depending on the time signatures that I have assigned to the to the script. Maybe let's like say 16 bits or 32 bits, and then it will do that. Another disclaimer that I have here is that you should make sure you watch the other previous videos because there are settings that you have to first have set in your virtual DJ. I'm not going to repeat it in this video. So before you use these pads, please make sure you watch the other video. I'm going to link it down below and make sure you make the settings right. Uh, then another disclaimer also is that uh, sometimes it might not hit it perfectly. So you feel free to adjust the, the hot cues depending on your liking. Or you can also adjust the code if you like it. It is free for download. I'm going to leave it in my Telegram channel and also the link is down below. So let me start by giving you what you're seeing here, the updates. Now we have three pads setting 16, 8 and 4. In the previous ones, we had only 8 and 4 and 4. So if you click here, it sets 16 hot cues on your songs. And then if you click on stop, it stops there. So if you can see this waveform here, you can really see that there's 16, depending on how long the song is. If the song is longer than that, it's, it's, if the song is long enough, it's going to set 16 hot cues. If it's not, it's going to end at where the song ends. So, and then if you click on 8, it's going to set 8. You can also stop by just clicking that and then you can also set 4. So this stop here now stops at the point where you are. And then there is delete to clear all, all the hot cues from the songs. Now, if you've ever used these pads before from me, you should realize that this time it's really quick. It's like three times faster than the other one because I updated the code. I really summarized it. And also, it's not going to freeze your computer like the previous ones. It's just a very precise thing. And uh, another thing is that it's not running on deck one and deck two. So if you have a song playing on deck one and deck two, you can feel free to just set your hot cues because it will leave your songs going unaffected. And also another update is that you won't have to restart the software. So it's just going to stop. And then you continue. It's not going to mess up with your mix in any way in case you are doing it live. And that is what we have right here. So it was a quick one. In case you have any questions, please feel free to ask down below. I'll be ready to answer. And also, please make sure you share the video. Leave a comment. Leave a like on the video if you like it. I'm going to see you in the next one. Peace out.